Hello, everyone. My name is Diana Stewart, and I'm the president of Envirox, and I welcome you to our webinar on cleaning and disinfecting during an outbreak like COVID-19. Our phones are ringing off the hook with questions from customers and partners about the best cleaning practices for the coronavirus outbreak, and we are here to help you. Our goal is to promote the interests of health and human safety. That is why it is our responsibility to provide you with accurate, thoroughly researched cleaning information and experience-based guidance that supports this goal. It's important to remember that if a surface is not clean, it cannot be effectively disinfected. The goal of cleaning for health is to get the best cleaning results in your facility with the lowest toxicity necessary. Outbreaks are unique situations that require a more robust approach to cleaning and disinfecting. With that said, rest assured, most of the best practices are already part of a well-designed cleaning program. Your cleaning staff may only need to make minor adjustments. Now let's get started with cleaning. You know how on an airplane, you're always instructed to put your oxygen mask on first before helping others. This is selfish. It ensures you can do a better job assisting others. The same holds true for cleaning staff. You and your team are the first line of defense against the outbreak. If you get sick, then one of the best weapons against the spread of a virus is weakened or even out of commission. We'll cover prevention techniques at the end of the webinar, but we wanted to note that safeguarding cleaning staff is critical to the success of this process. Now we'll cover recommended cleaning methods in the case of an outbreak. Cleaning helps contain the spread of disease and infections, and how you clean for an outbreak should be more robust. First, let's talk about the difference between a cleaner, a sanitizer, a viricide, and a disinfectant. The marketing around different cleaning products can be confusing. It can make it seem like these are interchangeable. One of the most common questions we get from new customers is about the difference between the categories, and that's why we've made this handy chart for you. A cleaner cleans. It removes, dissolves, and lifts dirt and debris. Not all cleaners are created equal. Many contain too much surfactant and leave residue. We recommend avoiding residue as it can often result in more dirt accumulation over time, among other issues. After cleaning, the next step is to use an EPA-registered sanitizer or disinfectant. Sanitizers and disinfectants actually kill germs rather than just removing them. Sanitizers reduce most of the germs, more than 99.9%, .9%, while disinfectants kill all of the organisms specified at least to 99.999999%. To be effective, sanitizers and disinfectants must be allowed to remain on the surface wet for the amount of time specified on the label. However, in an outbreak situation, you need a more specific kill claim and robust process. In an outbreak after cleaning with one of our multi-purpose cleaners, you complete the process with your disinfectant in order to ensure that none of the organisms remain alive. For COVID-19, you now have some options per the EPA. One, disinfectants that have the emerging pathogen claim from the EPA. Two, disinfectants that have a human coronavirus claim on their master label. These disinfectants are on EPA list N which includes products that meet EPA's criteria for use against SARS-CoV-2, the cause of COVID-19. If dirt and debris are not cleaned away first, then the disinfectant can't get to the surface to do its job, and any remaining soil provides a habitat for the microorganisms to thrive. Some products carry a one-step disinfectant claim. That simply means the product is expected to have some level of disinfection for light soil loads. The soil still needs to be removed 
to ensure adequate disinfection. Most disinfectant products will specify pre-cleaned surfaces, including specific claims on one-step disinfection products. Be sure to read labels carefully and follow the EPA-regulated instructions. I cannot stress this enough. A surface with debris, body oils, dust, dirt, or even residue left from other cleaning products will reduce the effectiveness of a disinfectant. That means you may not kill the virus. Our recommendation for the best product and process for an outbreak situation is as follows. Clean first, preferably with a low toxicity, low residue, powerful hydrogen peroxide multi-purpose product. With Envirox's products, this means using the light duty solution for most cleaning and then the heavy duty solution for high touch points. Envirox is EPA registered H2 Orange 2, 112 and 117, Fresh 118, and multi-purpose cleaners will provide a strong start for your cleaning process. For your second step, spray or wipe with a disinfectant, leaving the surface wet for the necessary kill time as stated on the product label. In an outbreak situation, we recommend following the EPA and the CDC guidelines. Envirox has two products on the EPA's updated list. You can find links to more information about these products on our website at enviroxclean.com slash outbreak cleaning guide. They are Envirox Critical Care, and our Envirox Non-Acid Disinfectant Concentrate. For each of these products, you should follow the full viricide directions on the label carefully. These products do not carry the EPA emerging pathogen claim, but they do have claims against human coronavirus. If you're unable to source a disinfectant with either the emerging pathogen claim or a human coronavirus kill claim on the master label, as provided on the EPA's list, then visit the CDC for further guidance on best practices. And remember, for the disinfectant to work, the surface must be pre-cleaned, and you must keep the surface wet with the disinfectant chemical for the kill time stated on the label for the emerging pathogen claim. It's important to make sure the surface is both clean and dry prior to using the disinfectant. Different cleaners, sanitizers, and disinfectants must never be allowed to mix. So let's review and the complete cleaning process one more time. First, clean, preferably with a low toxicity, low residue, powerful hydrogen peroxide multi-purpose product. With Envirox products, this means using light duty solution for most cleaning, and then the heavy duty solution for high touch points. Disinfect the pre-cleaned dry surface as a second step with a disinfectant that has the emerging pathogen EPA registered kill claim or human coronavirus kill claim. Apply the disinfectant to the surface and let sit wet for the appropriate time as instructed by the manufacturer. If you're introducing a new disinfectant to your cleaning staff, be sure the SDS training as well is the personal protective equipment has been updated accordingly. If someone is sick, suggest they work or recover from home. Source additional packages of facial tissue for the workplace. Make sure cleaning staff wears disposable gloves during cleaning. Please don't touch your face. Make sure hand soap dispensers are functioning and full. Make sure proper paper towels are available in the restrooms. Make sure trash cans have liners and the liners with the soiled facial tissue and towels are removed frequently. Make hand sanitizer available to employees at the workplace. Properly clean and disinfect touch points more frequently with a two-step process. When mopping, change mop bucket water more frequently. Soak mop heads in heavy duty red dilution after use. Rinse and hang dry between uses. As you can see, with emerging pathogens, the answers are not always crystal clear. 
We will continue to keep new information on COVID-19 updated on our website and recommend you go to the CDC at the URL on our online outbreak cleaning guide. Please contact us if you need any assistance finding this information. For questions, you can always email our client relations team at enviroxinfo at enviroxclean.com. To visit our outbreak cleaning guide, go to enviroxclean.com slash outbreak cleaning guide. Ideally, we've provided you with clear guidance and information on how to keep your facility clean and healthy in an outbreak situation. Thank you for joining us. And remember, wash your hands, cover your mouth when you cough. If you're not feeling well, do try to stay home and always, always clean before you sanitize or disinfect. Thank you.